Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Eduardo. El día de hoy estaremos aprendiendo inglés con historias interactivas. Estaremos estudiando una historia totalmente en inglés y analizándola en tiempo real, lo que significa que va a tener mi acompañamiento en la historia en todo momento. Veremos cada una de las frases que se están utilizando, el vocabulario que se esté utilizando, por qué se usa una palabra y no otra. Es una clase donde puedes aprender mucho vocabulario, entonación, pronunciación y fluidez, todo en uno. Es un método muy bueno que te ayudará muchísimo. No te asustes si escuchas el primer fragmento de la historia totalmente en inglés. Luego estaremos interviniendo para explicar lo que se dice. La clase debe estar muy interesante, así que let's begin. Escuchemos cómo inicia la historia. Once there was a man named John who wasn't happy with his life. He had a job, a wife, and two kids, but he felt something was missing. He wanted more excitement and success. Excelente. Dice, once there was a man named John who wasn't happy with his life. Once there was a man named John. ¿Qué significa este once del inicio? Once. Esta palabrita que vemos aquí significa una vez. Once, once. Y se utiliza muchísimo cuando vas a iniciar a contar algo. Once. También es muy usual escuchar que esto se diga once upon a time, cuando se está refiriendo a un cuento de novela o algo por el estilo. Eras una vez, pero con decir once, ya estás diciendo una vez. Once, there was a man named John. Una vez había un hombre, there was, había, there was. Vemos que el was está en pasado. There was. Recuerde que there is y there are se utilizan para decir hay. Por ejemplo, si quieres decir hay alguien aquí, dices there is somebody here. There is. Para decir esto en pasado, había alguien aquí. There was. Había. Eso es lo que se está diciendo aquí. Once there was a man. Una vez había un hombre. Once there was a man named John, llamado John, who wasn't happy with his life, el cual no era feliz con su vida. Who wasn't happy with his life. Who, quien, wasn't happy, no era feliz with his life, con su vida. Once there was a man named John who wasn't happy with his life. He had a job. Él tenía un trabajo. He had. He had. Had es el pasado de have, que es el verbo tener. Así que estamos diciendo tenía en pasado. He had a job. Él tenía un trabajo. A wife. A wife. ¿Qué es este wife? ¿Sabe lo que significa la palabra wife? Excelente. Wife significa esposa. A wife and two kids. And two kids. Y dos niños. Kids. And two kids. Cuando se utiliza la palabra kids, se puede referir tanto a niño o niña. Cuando es en plural. Kids es niños. Hay niños ahí. Pero si es en singular, kid. Estamos hablando de un niño, un varón. Y luego dice, But he felt something was missing. But he felt something was missing. Pero, but, he felt, felt, es el pasado del verbo feel, feel, que es sentir. He felt, él sentía something was missing. Que algo faltaba. Missing es como faltar. Es como faltar. Y luego dice. He wanted more excitement and success. 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 Él quería. He wanted more excitement. ¿Qué es este excitement? 
Usted podría traducir esto como excitación, excitement. Cuando alguien get, get excited es porque se emociona, que es la correcta traducción. Emocionarse. He wanted more excitement. Él quería más emoción en success y éxito. Success es éxito. Once there was a man named John who wasn't happy with his life. He had a job, a wife, and two kids, but he felt something was missing. He wanted more excitement and success. Every day, John went to work, but he didn't enjoy it. He felt empty inside and wanted a job that gave him purpose and fulfillment. Excelente. Esto que le pasa a John sucede muchísimo. Dice, every day John went to work. Every day John went to work. Todos los días, every day, John, John, que es el nombre de nuestro personaje, went to work. ¿Qué es este went? Recuerde que estamos contando algo que ocurrió en el pasado. La mayoría de verbos en esta historia están en pasado. Estamos hablando en pasado. John went. Went es el pasado del verbo go, que es ir. John went. John iba to work, a trabajar. To work. Si se fija, el verbo work no debe ponerse en pasado, con que usted el primer verbo de la oración lo convierta en pasado es suficiente. John went to work. John iba a trabajar. But he didn't enjoy it. Pero él no lo disfrutaba. But he didn't enjoy it. Didn't. Esta es la negación en pasado. He didn't enjoy it. Él no lo disfrutaba. Enjoy es disfrutar. Every day, John went to work, but he didn't enjoy it. He felt empty inside and wanted a job that gave him purpose and fulfillment. He felt empty. Él se sentía empty. Empty significa vacío. Él se sentía vacío. He felt empty inside, inside, por dentro. He felt empty inside and wanted a job, and wanted a job, y quería un trabajo, that gave him purpose and fulfillment, que le diera propósito, that gave him. Este gave es el pasado de give, el verbo dar, that gave him purpose. And fulfillment. That gave him purpose and fulfillment. Este purpose es como propósito. Purpose. Este fulfillment, usted puede traducirlo como realización. Quiere un trabajo que lo hiciera sentir realizado. Every day, John went to work, but he didn't enjoy it. He felt empty inside and wanted a job that gave him purpose and fulfillment. John's relationship with his wife had become distant. They didn't communicate well, and he questioned whether they were right for each other. John's relationship with his wife had become distant. John's relationship, la relación de John, este relationship, es para referirse a las relaciones amorosas entre dos personas. John's relationship with his wife con su esposa had become distant. Este become significa convertirse. Y está en participio. Se ha convertido. O se convirtió distante. Se volvió distante. They didn't communicate well. Ellos no se comunicaban bien. They didn't communicate well. They didn't communicate well. They didn't communicate well. Ellos no se comunicaban bien. And he questioned whether they were right for each other. And he questioned whether they were 
right for each other. And he questioned whether they were right for each other. And he questioned. Y él se preguntaba, o él preguntaba, question, whether they were right for each other. Este whether, utilizado aquí de esta manera, significa sí. Él preguntaba si they were right for each other. Si ellos estaban bien el uno para el otro. Si ellos eran el uno para el otro. He also felt disconnected from his children. He didn't spend much time with them and wanted a stronger bond. El hombre también tenía problemas con sus propios hijos. Dice, he also felt disconnected from his children. He also. ¿Qué es este also? Also significa también. He also felt, ya usted sabe lo que significa felt, él también se sentía disconnected. Muy fácil de entender. Disconnected es desconectado. Él también se sentía desconectado from his children, de sus hijos. He didn't spend much time with them and wanted a stronger bond. He didn't spend much time. Spend es gastar. He didn't spend much time with them. Él no pasaba mucho tiempo con ellos. Spend es como pasar. Cuando se habla de tiempo es para decir pasar tiempo. Spend. And wanted a stronger bond. Y quería bond es lazo. Y quería un lazo más fuerte. Stronger. Él no pasaba mucho tiempo con ellos y quería un lazo más fuerte. He also felt disconnected from his children. He didn't spend much time with them and wanted a stronger bond. One day, John lost his job. It was a shock, and he felt like a failure. He realized he had been chasing the wrong things in life. Y aquí viene y pasa esto. One day, John lost his job. One day, John lost his job. One day, un día, John lost his job. John pierde su trabajo. Lost es perder. He lost his job. Él perdió su trabajo. It was a shock. Fue un choque. Fue chocante. It, it was a shock. And he, and he felt like a failure. And he felt like a failure. Y él se sintió como un fracasado. Este failure es fracasado. He realized that he has been chasing the wrong things in life. He realized. Cuando usted realize something, es porque usted se dio cuenta. He realized. Él se dio cuenta. He had been chasing. Que él ha estado chasing, persiguiendo. He had been. Been es estado. Es el participio del verbo to be que se conjuga como estado. Él ha estado. Y este had es para expresar este a. Él ha estado. Si quiere aprender a expresarse en participio, tenemos un video de eso en nuestro canal. Se los dejaré en los comentarios. He had been chasing. Él ha estado chasing, persiguiendo. Chasing es perseguir. The wrong things. The wrong things in life. Las cosas equivocadas en la vida. One day, John lost his job. It was a shock, and he felt like a failure. He realized he had been chasing the wrong things in life. During his time off, John reflected on his choices. He realized that true happiness doesn't come from external things. Excelente. During his time off, John reflected on his choices. During his time off. Durante, during his time off, su tiempo libre. Time off es tiempo libre. John reflected on his choices. John reflexionó. John reflected on his choices. Choices son elecciones. 
sus escogencias. Y dice, He realized that true happiness doesn't come from external things. He realized, recuerda lo que le dije que significa realize, darse cuenta de algo. Entonces, él se dio cuenta. He realized that, él se dio cuenta que este that en, este, en esta ocasión está siendo utilizado para expresar este que. Él se dio cuenta que he realized that true happiness doesn't come from external things. Que la felicidad verdadera, true happiness. Happiness significa felicidad. Cuando agregamos este true antes del happiness, estamos diciendo felicidad verdadera. True es verdad. True happiness doesn't come from external things. La felicidad de verdadera no viene de cosas de afuera, external, external things. Y sigue diciendo. He started spending more quality time with his family. He listened to his wife and children, trying to understand their needs. He has started to spend more quality time with his family. He has started to spending. Él comenzó a pasar, spending, more quality time with his family. Más tiempo de calidad. Este quality significa algo bueno, algo de calidad. Más tiempo de calidad con su familia, with his family. He started spending more quality time with his family. He listened to his wife and children, trying to understand their needs. He listened to his wife and children, trying to understand their needs. He listened to, él escuchaba a, his wife, su esposa, and children. Children significa niños en plural. Sus niños, children. Es como la palabra kids que vimos anteriormente. Pero children es, es hijos y kids es niños. Puede que los kids no sean hijos suyos, pero children sí se refiere a hijos. Trying to understand their needs. Tratando de entender sus necesidades. Their needs. John also focused on personal growth. He explored his interests and tried to align his career with his passions. John also focused on personal growth. John también se enfocó. John also, also, recuerde que significa también. John also focused on personal growth. En el crecimiento personal o en su crecimiento personal. He explored his interests. Él exploró sus intereses. He explored his interests and tried to align and try to align his career with his passion. Y trató de alinear align, alinear his career with his passions. Su carrera con sus pasiones. with his passions. Gradually, John's relationship with his wife improved. They rediscovered their love and connection. He Gradually, gradualmente, John's relationship with his wife improved. La relación de John con su esposa improved. ¿Qué es improve? Improve es mejorar. La relación de John y su esposa mejoró. They rediscovered their love and connection. Ellos redescubrieron su amor y conexión. Rediscover. They rediscovered their love and connection. Rediscover. Ellos redescubrieron su amor y conexión. They rediscovered their love and connection. He became a more engaged father, cherishing the moments with his children. 
He became a more engaged father. Él se convirtió en un padre más comprometido. Este engage significa comprometido. He became, él se convirtió en pasado, a more engaged father. Apreciando los momentos con sus hijos. Cherishing the moments with his children. He became a more engaged father, cherishing the moments with his children. Though job hunting was tough, John stayed persistent. He found a new career path that made a positive impact. That job hunting was tough. Este da que inicia aquí es though job hunting was tough. Though job hunting was tough. Though job hunting was tough. Though, este though es aunque, aunque la búsqueda de trabajo era difícil. Though job hunting was tough. Tough es otra manera de decir difícil aparte de hard o difficult. Tough, tough. Y dice, John stay persistent. John continuó persistente. He found a new career path that made a positive impact. He found a new career path that made a positive impact. Él encontró un nuevo camino, una nueva carrera que hacía un impacto positivo. Though job hunting was tough, John stayed persistent. He found a new career path that made a positive impact. Through his journey, John learned that true happiness comes from within. It's about valuing relationships and embracing the present. Excelente. Dice, through his journey, a través de su viaje, true es a través, his journey. Journey es una palabra que se utiliza para referirse a viajes o procesos. Through his journey, John learned that true happiness comes from within. Through his journey, John learned that true happiness come from within. John aprendió que la verdadera felicidad viene desde dentro. It's about valuing relationships and embracing the present. Se trata de valorar las relaciones y abrazar el presente. Una muy hermosa historia. Ahora creo que ya usted está listo para escucharla sin ningún tipo de intervención. Seguirá teniendo las letras en la pantalla, el script en la pantalla. Así que quiero que preste mucha atención e intente entender toda la historia sin ningún tipo de ayuda. Quiero que también me diga en los comentarios cuál es su metodología favorita de las que utilizamos aquí en este canal. Ya sea aprender inglés con canciones... Aprender inglés con películas, los estructurando frases que utilizamos, donde comenzamos desde una palabra hasta una expresión completa. Este tipo de videos con historias interactivas. ¿Cuál de nuestros muchos métodos que utilizamos aquí en este canal para que usted aprenda inglés es el que más prefiere? Los estaré leyendo. Once there was a man named John who wasn't happy with his life. He had a job, a wife, and two kids but he felt something was missing. He wanted more excitement and success. Every day, John went to work, but he didn't enjoy it. He felt empty inside and wanted a job that gave him purpose and fulfillment. John's relationship with his wife had become distant. They didn't communicate well, and he questioned whether they were right for each other. He also felt disconnected from his children. He didn't spend much time with them and wanted a stronger bond. One day, John lost his job. It was a shock, and he felt like a failure. He realized he had been chasing the wrong things in life. During his time off, John reflected on his choices. He realized that true happiness doesn't come from external things. He started spending more quality time with his family. He listened to his wife and children, trying to understand their needs. John also focused on personal growth. 
He explored his interests and tried to align his career with his passions. Gradually, John's relationship with his wife improved. They rediscovered their love and connection. He became a more engaged father, cherishing the moments with his children. Though job hunting was tough, John stayed persistent. He found a new career path that made a positive impact. Through his journey, John learned that true happiness comes from within. It's about valuing relationships and embracing the present. With a renewed appreciation for his family, John realized they were his greatest treasure. His story reminds us that it's never too late to make positive changes and find, find happiness in what truly matters.